Hello and welcome to the Home Designer Overview video. In this overview, we'll help you understand how the program works so you can start creating your own designs using Home Designer by Chief Architect. Chief Architect offers a family of home design products for both professionals and do-it-yourselfers designed to meet a variety of needs, including home design, interior design, and landscaping. Many of the features you will see in this overview video will work in the other Home Designer products. Please refer to our product comparisons on our website for a complete list of products and features. To help you get started quickly with Home Designer, we provide a number of resources, including how-to tutorial videos that walk step-by-step -step through every feature, free technical support, and online webinars. In this overview video, we'll design a sample house so you can become familiar with the program and get started on your own designs. When you start a design, begin by drawing the walls on the first floor and create the room shape or house footprint. For this sample home, I will use the exterior wall tool and click and drag to place the walls. As the walls are drawn, notice that a temporary dimension shows the length of the wall. The wall is actually composed of several layers, including siding, insulation, framing, and sheetrock. Each will automatically calculate for the material's estimate. While drawing walls, there's no need to leave spaces for doors and windows. The program will automatically create openings when those items are placed in the design. Home Designer includes several wall types, such as curved, interior, and half walls. In Home Designer Pro, each wall layer can be defined with attributes, such as color, line weight, and hatching. When the shape of the room or house is completed, Home Designer places accurate exterior dimensions for all of the walls. To move any wall, click and drag it, or select a wall dimension and type in the measurement to precisely locate the wall. Next, we'll use the interior wall tool and place the interior walls. To save time, I've placed the remaining walls. In addition to the automatic dimensions, there are a variety of manual dimension tools. For the interior walls, let's use the interior dimension tool and place the dimensions for a few of the walls. Let's take a 3D view to see what our design looks like so far. This dollhouse overview shows a good perspective of the shapes of the rooms that were just created. While in a 3D view, I can continue designing by moving walls, placing doors, windows, and more. With Home Designer, you can place doors and windows and customize them to create just about any style. To place a window, select the Window tool and click to place. To resize or move the window, select it and move, or stretch it to the desired size. Every architectural object in the program, such as windows, contain a significant amount of information that can be used to create very specific and detailed styles. Notice all the panels that are available to customize the window. Window type, size and position, casing, sash and frame, lights, shape, and materials. In Home Designer Pro, you will find additional settings for rough openings, framing, mulling, lintel and sill, and a few others. For this example, we'll change the window type to a single casement and add craftsman style lights. Notice that the preview panel updates as changes are made to the window. In the 3D view, the changes are now updated. Placing a door works the same as placing a window. When the door tool is selected, there are several door types to choose from, ranging from hinged to pocket. Each time a new door is placed, such as this exterior door, it will use a default style that you can customize. When doors or windows are selected, temporary dimensions display and can be used to precisely position it. With the center tool, you can quickly center the door in a room. Click the door, then the center tool, and the item to center it on, in this case, the entryway room. To change the door's swing or hinge side of the door, click on either the Change Opening Hinge Side or Change Swing Side button. Again, to save time, I'll place the remaining doors for our house. And that's how easy it is to place windows and doors in Home Designer. In the kitchen design, we'll begin with the room specification where a number of attributes can be defined, such as room name and the floor and ceiling heights. There are additional settings for moldings, wall coverings, materials, and other characteristics. Now that this room is defined as a kitchen, 
notice that the room label and the square footage is displayed. Cabinets can be placed in 2D or 3D. I'll begin placing the cabinets in a 3D perspective view. Choose the floor camera and drag it toward the area where the cabinets are going to be placed and then release. Using the Base Cabinet tool, click in the corner of the room to place the cabinet. Notice that the program recognizes the cabinet is being placed in a corner and automatically creates a corner cabinet. I'll place a few more base cabinets. To resize a cabinet, select the drag handles and adjust it to the desired size. Cabinets can be customized to create literally thousands of cabinet variations and combinations with Home Designer. For example, let's remove the drawer of this cabinet that will be used for the sink. And for this base cabinet, create a bank of three drawers by adding a drawer, enter the size, and then changing the door to a drawer. It's that easy. Cabinets are smart objects and know how to bump and merge, forming a continuous countertop. To change the cabinet styles, you can browse the library and choose Cabinet Door or Drawer Styles and click to apply and visualize. To place wall cabinets, select the Wall Cabinet tool and click above the base cabinets to place. To customize these cabinets, I'll change the door style to glass and a crown molding. Depending on the Home Designer program you have, there are a number of settings that you can define for the cabinets, including sizing, countertops, backsplash, door and drawer styles, moldings, and several other options. Now, let's have some fun and change the cabinet colors. The Material Painter allows you to change the color and material of any object in your design. Cabinets, countertops, walls, and flooring. Using the Smart Cabinet tools, you can create kitchen islands. You will find several prearranged islands that you can download from our website as free bonus library content and quickly place a variety of island options. To add the fixtures and appliances, find the items in the library and place, either into a cabinet, such as a sink or dishwasher, or next to a cabinet, like a refrigerator. With thousands of items in the library catalog, there is a wide variety to place in any design to help visualize and plan for space. If Home Designer doesn't have a particular item, use the Import feature and further customize your designs. To see the kitchen in more detail, I'll use the program's Elevation view. Elevations offer a more technical view for designing and adding detailed notes. Using the Wall Elevation camera will draw a dimension through the base cabinets. You can modify the dimensions with the diamond handle to add and remove additional dimensions. Elevations with dimensions and notes can be an important part of designing, purchasing, and building. Home Designer Pro allows you to save any of the scaled camera views on the screen or send them to a layout page, which is typically used to create construction documents. Layouts and construction documents are discussed in the detailed online videos on the Home Designer software website. Home Designer has all of the powerful design tools needed to create great kitchens and baths. Designing the interior of any home is easy with Home Designer. There are thousands of items in the library to help with visualization and space planning. Home Designer supports several common 2D and 3D file types, which means that you can download name brand library items from our website and other websites. It's also easy to import colors, materials, and textures from a digital camera to create specific designs. Tools like the Color Chooser, Material Painter, and Material Eyedropper help to design and visualize. It's fun to experiment with various options to create different looks. To change the color on a wall, use the Material Painter and browse through the library of generic or name brand colors like Sherwin-Williams, Benjamin Moore, or Bear Paint, and then click to apply the color. Using the Material Eyedropper, we can quickly duplicate colors and materials and copy from one item to another item. Color selections are virtually unlimited with the Color Chooser tool, which can be used to create custom colors from a digital photo or website. Furthermore, the Color Blending option can help adjust the color on any material, find a material, and blend the color until it's just right. In this photo, use the Material Eyedropper to select the material apply the color to the design, and then color blend to create a custom color.
Color blending is similar to a stain. The transparency can be defined to create a custom look. The material painter can change wall coverings, fabrics, flooring, or any element in the design. There are thousands of selections built into the software. It's also easy to import new materials. For example, I'll import a new wall covering material from a website and then apply it to this room. With these flexible design tools, you can easily create the exact look for any room. There is a wide variety of furnishings in the catalog library to place for floor and space planning and interior design. You can place individual furnishings or use prearranged furniture groupings that are already assembled to help quickly lay out a room. Furniture groupings are available for kitchens, bedrooms, kids' rooms, and others. You can download these furniture groupings as free library catalogs from our website. I'll choose a prearranged bedroom set and place it in the room. Any prearranged furniture groupings can be ungrouped so that individual pieces can be adjusted. All of the furniture placed from the library can also be resized. Simply select the furniture object and use the edit handles to resize it. This is a great space planning feature. Once all of the elements have been placed, we can use the different camera styles, including watercolor, technical illustration, and vector view to view the scene. As shown earlier with custom wall coverings, it is possible to create or import 3D symbols into the program, like furniture and appliances. Simply download the item from the Home Designer website or a manufacturer's website and import it into the design. Import lighting, moldings, furnishings, and accessories to make any room come to life. To get a closer view of sample renderings created in Home Designer, see our gallery on homedesignersoftware.com. With the interior completed, let's explore the program's automated building tools. Roofs, framing, and foundations are automatically created as the design progresses. With these automatic tools, anytime a wall is moved on the main floor, the foundation will automatically update and it will also update how much concrete and framing are required in the materials list. Home Designer Pro includes added manual foundation tools with several foundation types to choose from. Crawl space, full basement, a slab, pier, or a custom style. The foundation wall type and several other foundation options can be defined and customized. Home Designer makes roofs an easy process. There are a variety of roof styles ranging from gable to goal wing that can be created for the house. I will build a hip roof and accent all the default roof options. All the roof planes that were created can be seen here in floor plan view and are more visibly illustrated in a 3D view. The glass house camera view is a great way to see the model in 3D. The program automatically adds features to the roof like fascias, gutters, and roof returns, all of which can be customized. To modify the automatic roof, there are several tools and tutorials to help, such as this roof style toggle. Furthermore, Home Designer Pro has advanced roof settings and the roof planes can be manually edited to create just about any style of roof. Ceiling tools are related and similar to the roofing tools. Home Designer automatically creates flat ceilings once the roof is generated. The ceiling tool can be used to create a variety of custom styles, including vault, tray, and coffered. The stair tool can create straight, curved, split stairs and ramps. Like all of the architectural objects, there's flexibility to customize the stair options, including the number of stair sections, tread height, width, railing style, and several others. Remember Home Designer includes all of the defaults typically used in construction to make stairs easy to build. With Home Designer Pro, you will find advanced settings and control for the stairs. Using the stair tool, I will create a set of split stairs. I will drag the first set of stairs, move over 90 degrees, and drag the second set of stairs. Next, click between the stairs to automatically create the landing. Finally, click the Auto Stairwell tool to create the stair opening on the second floor. Creating stairs is an easy process with Home Designer. Now that the main floor and roofs are completed, you can see the framing details for the house that have been automatically generated. Home Designer Pro includes many advanced framing tools to control how the framing is created. 
you can see the detailed framing options as you navigate through the tabs for the foundation, first floor, wall, headers, and roofs. All of the framing members can be manually edited as needed to customize for your designs. With much of the structural detail completed for the house, let's generate a cost estimate from the materials list. The program produces a detailed list of materials by category with the description and quantity of materials in spreadsheet format. Home Designer retains all the information on each element by category, such as doors, windows, cabinets, framing, and concrete and automatically adds it to the materials list, making it easy to estimate costs. Home Designer automatically creates a 3D model that you can use to visualize and edit your designs. There are three types of cameras you can use. The full overview camera, a dollhouse camera, and an elevation camera. To create a 3D view, simply choose the camera and create the view. Each camera type has advantages that can be useful for different types of views. The full overview is great to visualize the roof, exterior, and landscaping elements. The dollhouse camera provides an unobstructed view for interior spaces, and the elevation camera is helpful for detailed front-on views or cross-section details. The camera views can be filtered with different rendering techniques you can toggle and visualize different styles. Some of the rendering techniques are only in Home Designer Pro. While in a 3D camera view, Navigation tools allow you to pan the camera around, take a complete 360-degree view, and define walkthrough paths. All of the camera movements can be recorded to create a virtual tour movie file. Let's get started with the landscaping. If you are only doing a landscape or deck project and not an entire house design, templates are a quick and easy option for these projects. For this house, we'll begin by creating a terrain perimeter. The terrain perimeter is the shape of the lot indicated by this green line. It can be easily edited by clicking on the edge to change the shape and size. I can also enter a dimension to precisely size the terrain. Once the shape of the perimeter has been established, I can add elevation data to create sloped or varying terrain lots. For a sloped lot, I will add an elevation line at the back of the terrain perimeter and set it to a negative value. The program will automatically generate the terrain after clicking on Build Terrain in the menu, or it can be seen in a 3D view where contour lines created in the plan view are visible. If you have a GPS or data from a surveyor, you can import this data into the program for your terrain detail. Other terrain features, like hills, valleys, roads, sidewalks, and driveways, can help to complete a detailed site plan. Now that the terrain shape is completed, we'll move on to landscaping features. To make it easy, prearranged landscaping beds can be quickly placed into the design. These landscaping beds can add visual appeal and can be modified for your specific plan. You can download the landscaping beds from our website. The plant chooser can help to create custom beds with individually placed plants. It includes information on up to 3,600 plants and is a great tool to help find and learn about the right plants for any landscaping project. Some home designer products have fewer plants. Please refer to the product comparison matrix on our website for featured details. To search for specific plants, there are several attributes that can be used to find the ideal plant and narrow the results. For example, a search for a plant by name Iris displays a small subset of those plants in the library. The search results can be displayed by either common or scientific name. When placing plants from the library, they can be distributed in a garden bed with settings for spacing and orientation to make the garden beds look natural. Each plant has an informational tab with details about size, sun, water requirements, bloom time, and hardiness zone. The hardiness zone maps help to locate the area in which you live and determine which plants are suitable for that climate region. Most of the plants have maturity information. This information can be used to visualize growth of plants. For example, we can start with young trees and shrubs, define their ages, and then use the Grow Plants tool to adjust the maturity. This tool is helpful to see how the plants will look as they mature. A plant schedule can be generated with all the plants in the landscape project. 
This can be a good shopping or planning list. The program's integrated landscaping and deck tools can help put the finishing touches on any project and help you visualize your design. To further personalize the project, take a real-life picture of the lot, import the photo, and use it as the background. 3D views look even more realistic. Now that the site plan and landscaping are completed, there is one final element to add, a deck. Using the deck railing tool, draw the shape of the deck. Once the area is enclosed, notice that a deck room label has been created. In a 3D view, we can see that the deck has been automatically generated with a railing, foundation support, and the structural framing. The software includes a framing option for decks that will automatically frame the deck and build the foundation supports for you. Deck default options can be customized, including the optional deck roof and deck planking materials. In the deck options, you can define additional features for the deck such as overhang, width, direction, and planks. And using Home Designer Pro, you can define advanced framing and structural details. With the deck completed, a cost estimate can be generated from the materials list. The program retains all the information about the deck, such as posts, planking, framing, and concrete, and automatically adds that information to the materials list, making it easy to estimate project costs. In addition to total lineal feet for the decking materials, a cut and buy list can be generated for budgeting, lumber shopping list, or a construction cut list. You've seen just a fraction of the capabilities of Home Designer. Don't forget to review the other in-depth tutorial training videos, online webinars, and the Home Talk user forum to help with your design projects, all available at homedesignersoftware.com. If you're not already a customer, you can order now risk-free. We are so confident you'll like our software that we offer an unconditional 30-day money-back guarantee. Chief Architect Software is the only home design software company that develops, publishes, and supports its own products. We specialize in home design software and work to provide you the highest quality of products and services. Thank you for watching the Home Designer Overview video, and we hope you enjoy creating and designing your dream home with Home Designer.